milk, eggs, hollow points, machete. Do I already have a machete? Oh, oh hey guys, you caught me in the middle of putting together my shopping list for the upcoming zombie apocalypse. What? No, I, I know what you're saying. I'm a little late to the game. Well, that's because there really hasn't been a good note-taking app for Android, and, well, since I'm the Android guy, I'm, I'm behind schedule a little bit. But luckily for me, and for you, I guess, if you're in the same situation that I am, you know, prepping for the zombie apocalypse or the Mayan end of the world, whatever, uh, now there is a note-taking app for Android. It's really kind of cool, only for Jelly Bean, but there's a reason for that. It's called Notif. I think I'm saying that right, but let's go ahead and put together our shopping list together and I'll show you what I mean. We're going to have to be kind of quick because everybody knows that that zombie apocalypse is coming up very fast. So the note that I just made, my shopping list, it lives up here in my pull down notification shade. And you'll notice it's not just a, a one liner like my HD widgets, which has been successfully updated. It's got everything in my list, really kind of cool. And you'll also notice I can't get rid of this. I can't just, whoops, slide it away and it's gone. The reason for that is, well, I really need to get those eggs before the zombies get here. So let me show you how to do it. This of course is my Nexus 7. It's running a, a version of Jelly Bean. In this case, it's a Cyanogen Mod 10 Nightly, but any device running Jelly Bean will work. Why Jelly Bean, you ask? Well, these expanded notifications are a feature of Jelly Bean, so to get that feature, you're gonna need Jelly Bean. That having been said, let's go ahead and fire it up. The uh, icon is kind of plain and simple. Just a cube there, we'll open it up, and you'll notice I don't have anything in here. That's my first observation. That's the first thing that I'd kind of like this developer to do is, you know, can, can I go back in and edit any of my existing notes? That'd be kind of nice, because I'm thinking I, I misplaced that machete. So I'd like to add that to my list, but to the best of my knowledge, I can't. There's no way to do that. So what I'm going to have to do here is pull this down. You see I still have my notification up there. I'm going to clear those with that button, and it says all ongoing notifications have been cleared. So now I can start over again. So let's type in groceries. And uh, I, I think I spelled that right, whatever. And we'll just do this again. We'll have milk, we'll have eggs, we'll have hollow points. They have better stopping power, that, that's the main reason. And I, I don't know how to spell machete. Machete, uh, sure, okay. That looks good, and you know what? While we're there, let's pick up some MREs. Uh, meals ready to eat. You never know when you need to eat on the run. So I've just gone ahead and made this in a list format. Uh, let me go ahead and change the, the icon here because that uh, liney thing wasn't all that uh, all that good. Ooh, let's see. Um, hey, you know, let's do a shield up here because this is like for protecting us against the uh, the zombies. So there we go. Now when I pull it down, I, I don't have it up there just yet. So let's put in an ongoing notification. Now this means, this ongoing notification, means that um, it's always gonna be up here. You can't just dismiss it, okay? And then we'll add that using the plus button. That user interface could be a little bit better, just in my opinion, but you know we'll, we'll call it good. Let's do a summary, uh, pick this up before the zombies and reduced content mui I can't spell here it's typing with one hand one finger when you're uh, trying to get you know the zombies all taken care of is not easy so mui importante we'll do that and then we'll go ahead and add that and you can see it created that list called groceries and you'll notice there's no icon for it up here that's because i didn't put an icon in there uh, i turned it off i'll show you that in just a minute so now you can see here i've got my custom icon with my shield i've got my grocery list with everything that i need there uh, if i wanted to you know i could close this up and it tells me 
here's what I put in there. It's Muy Importante. When I open it up, now here's my expanded description and everything in my list. Really neat, really fast way to get a list right where you're gonna see it and hopefully not forget it. So let's go ahead and go back into the app. Again, there's my list. I can't go back and edit this. Frustrating. So if we wanted to put a picture in there, we can do that. We can take a picture or get one from our gallery. If we wanna put in just a big chunk of text, we can do that too. And if you just want kind of a default simple note, you can also do that. So let's go ahead and look at the settings in here. We can close the app after creating a notification. So you create it, it's gonna take you right back to wherever you were before. That's kind of nice, helps you get back to your work unless you wanna create multiple notes. If you wanna create multiple notes, leave that unchecked. The default is unchecked. Invisible icon. Now this is if it's checked, there's not gonna be an icon up here. We can uncheck that and then you'll have an icon up there that's it's a notification, so it's showing you that something's there. I have that turned off, but you notice it's in, just, just invisible. There's still an icon there, you just can't see it. And then of course, notification priorities. That's what order is this gonna show up in? You can see I've got some travel time to work, uh, nine minutes, that's, that's good. That means there's not a lot of slowdowns due to zombie outbreaks along my, my path. Uh, HD widgets was just updated. I've got a couple new emails and then my, my note up at the top. So I can specify the priority that that appears up in the list. If I don't wanna give it quite as much or if I wanna give it even more, this is the default, so I'm leaving it as the default. You can also come in and set the theme to light or dark. Some of us like light screen, some of us like dark screens for various reasons. Uh, if you're gonna be using this in an active zombie apocalypse, you'll probably wanna go dark so that you're not giving away your location as readily. Uh, that does require a restart of the app though, so just bear that in mind. Uh, so that's it, it's really kinda nice, really kinda cool. Now, let's talk downsides. The first thing that we talked about, you can't go back in and, and edit this list. Number one. Number two, I've got this on my tablet. It doesn't automatically sync to my phone. So unless I have my tablet handy, I'm kind of out of luck. Wherever you put your note, that's where it's gonna live. It would be nice if there was some cloud-based syncing or, or something like that where I'd have the same lists on all of my devices. So really, you know, other than this being Jelly Bean only, those are my only major complaints. So that's really, uh, really kind of cool. And it finally gets us a to-do list that is something that I'm gonna use on Android. Uh, one last thing just came to me. There's no completion date on this, so it's not gonna set up reminders in your calendar and whatnot, but that's because it's up here in your notification shade. So I can live without that. What do you think? I really like it. It's available for free. There is a paid version or a pro version that's relatively cheap. Let's see how much they're asking for it today. It's 99 cents US, so you can afford to do that. Uh, it gives you lots of more icons and quote unquote, lots more to come. So right now it looks like the only advantages you have are supporting the developer, Eric Carboni, and even more icons in there. Is it worth 99 cents? Eh, not for me right now, but will it be once, uh, once things mature a little bit and once this lots more to come arrives? Absolutely so. If you want a link, make sure you head over to pocketnow.com. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. You know, anything we can do to help each other prepare for the zombie apocalypse or the Mayan end of the world or whatever it happens to be. Guys, it's coming up quick. It's already October. Uh, you know, we've got like two months and I don't need to tell you I'm preaching to the choir here. So. Let's all get together and make sure we do that. If you've got any questions or comments, whether it's about a zombie apocalypse or about Notif, head over to pocketnow.com, leave those down at the bottom of this article and we'll make sure that everybody can co collaborate, cooperate and uh, get all of, our, uh, all of our stuff together because we're our only hope. For Pocket Now, showing off the Notif app and preparing for the zombie apocalypse, I'm Joe Levi.